teenage volunteers harvest apples at a research farm in Vineland, Ontario. These apples will be donated to the Niagara Christian Gleaners, a charity that will dehydrate the fruit and ship it to people in need around the world. Most commercial orchards grow just a limited number of apple varieties, focusing on profitable consumer favorites like Honeycrisp or Royal Gala. In order to do that, they use trees that have been propagated using age-old grafting techniques. But in this research orchard, there are more than 20,000 unique apple trees growing, and each tree was initially grown from a single genetically unique seed. So the fruit on every tree will be very different in shape, size, color, or flavor. Apple breeder Rachel LeBlanc's job is to ensure that all these trees will have one thing in common, great tasting fruit. She does molecular testing on the seedlings to ensure that they have characteristics that consumers will enjoy. We're looking for apples that consumers want to buy. So crispy, juicy apples. Uh, some people like sweet apples, some people like a little bit of a tartar apple. So we're looking for a wide variety depending on uh, trying to satisfy the needs of all consumers. Then it takes years to grow the seedling trees until they're mature enough to produce a harvest. At that point, Rachel's job is to identify the trees with attractive looking fruit and taste it to decide which trees to continue to develop. From the tens of thousands of genetically different trees, only a few will get to the point where they can be introduced to the market. Apple breeding is a very long term effort. So a, an apple variety takes a minimum of 15 to 20 years in the development stage before it gets to the grocery store shelves. And 15 to 20 years is actually fast for an apple variety. Growers put a lot of work into producing apples as well. So when you go to the grocery store shelf and you see a bag of Honeycrisp, for example, and you think, wow, that's really expensive. You have to consider how much time went into developing that variety and also that it could be really difficult to grow for a grower, which is why the cost is so high. Despite the long and complicated process for developing new apple varieties, there is continued demand for new types of apples. Farmers, consumers, and apple breeders like Rachel LeBlanc all have a role in ensuring that the next generation of apples meets the demands of both consumers and growers. Thanks to their hard work and dedication, we can all enjoy the next great apple as it graces our grocery stores and farmers markets. <laughs>